Hello everyone. Welcome back Your to Your arrival was predicted by our so crystals vibrations. So crystals. Okay. We already know why you are here and what you need from us. However, etiquette requires that we act as though we are ignorant of your desires. If you say so. Now, nah. what can we do for you? Apparently, today? so crystals are useful. Okay. Um, let's what go ahead and get some like exposition out of the Melorme. Hopefully, some of it's useful. How? Uh, current events. Alien race is historical information. Let's get really old, useful stuff. Almost 25,000 of your years ago, there existed near this region of space an association of star fairy yes, races know, the sentient milieu. called the Sentient Milieu. Mm -hmm. This group formed over several thousand years to mutually enrich their respective cultures to provide a safe crash for emerging sentient species and to afford themselves a degree of protection from external hostilities via military alliance. Of the seven most active milieu members, the most famous race, indeed, you know them well, yes, Captain, were the Urquan. Yes, thank you, that was not helpful at all. The Urquan evolved on a harsh planet, mm -hmm. orbiting a star outside this region of space. They okay. were solitary predators, like your brain mantis captain, or polar bear, who had a very limited set of social behaviors, well, of course. most of which dealt with sex. Mm -hmm. Since they had to compete for survival against many physically superior species, the Urquan evolved intelligence and tool use in much the same way as your own species. Okay. The Urquan also learned to master their fierce territoriality to build a cooperative planetary culture. When the Urquan were discovered by the Taeo, they had just begun exploring their solar system in hmm. crew atomic vehicles. That's so cool, I like crew atomic vehicles. Although the Urquan attacked what they thought to be an invader, the Taeo were patient. They explained the purpose of the sentient milieu and offered the Urquan membership. The Urquan mm -hmm. recognized well, of the course. benefits that such a system provided, and once more conquered the hunting beast within themselves to become cooperative, productive members of the milieu. This lasted for several thousands of years. Well, that's that's pretty cool. I and mean, nothing interesting years here, ago, but you know it's your ancestors were learning to chart the course of the moon and stars on animal horns. Mm -hmm. The sentient milieu spanned five hundred light years and included the membership of a hundred worlds. Like all other star travelers, they had discovered ruins and relics of a far more ancient culture, which your species calls the Precursors. Yes, yes, you. Explorers from many species spent their lives trying to piece together this ancient mystery. But of all races, the Urquan were the most bold adventurers. Their scouts, flying single ships, penetrated far into uncharted space and landed a million worlds. Mm. On one such mission, a young Earth one made planet fall on a small, light-bearing alien right? world to identify some anomalous oh. energy readings, oh. occasionally a sign of precursor installations. Instead, oh, okay. the Earth one found a small, hideous creature a Dinyari. Before the scout was able to defend itself, the Dinyari creature took control of the Urquan's mind and commanded the scout to place the Dinyari aboard the Urquan's ship, along with hundreds of its evil brood. Then, 
fear Quan return to the heart of the new you, landing on its capital planet. Within hours, every resident of the planet was a Dinyari slave. Within mm -hmm. hours, Dinyari compelled starships and spread the evil, psychic creatures across the entire milieu. Ouch! When the Dinyari took control of the milieu, one race fought back, the Takeno. These mm -hmm. slow, quiet creatures were silicon-based life forms, but bore little resemblance to the modern Shenjetsu. Taelo were natural immune to the Dinyari psychic compulsion. They were That's unaffected cool. by the creature's power. And the Dinyari would not permit anyone to exist outside their control. So they ordered the remaining races of the milieu to attack and destroy the Taelo home planet. This planet was one of the few milieu worlds. Ooh, are you gonna tell me where it is? Tell me where it is. This will be useful if you tell me where it is. Space. I believe you <gasps> Delta Vol okay. star, Delta Volpecule. Mm -hmm. Their home was a moon revolving about the second planet. Moon. I'm What's sad that? to say the Dikaero were second. indeed eliminated. However, at the time of their devastation, they had completed a device which they thought would give other races psychic immunity like their own. What happened to this device? This shield? It's hard um, to say. This is useful. Maybe it was destroyed in the attack on their home world. Maybe not. Okay. That that was a useful piece of information, and I think it was worth the credits. Um, I think I think I think that's probably fine. All I want from like like that Taelo stuff. Cool. Um, we found. Okay, we're gonna go visit their homeworld uh, at some point here. It looks like a treasure planet in there. But, uh, first, um, we're going to be sucked down into the third ash, apparently. I assume the third ash. Hi! Perhaps humans can fight after all. If our reports are accurate, we will test this hypothesis in the laboratory of life. In glorious battle, your okay. puny, inadequate weaponry is no match for the Blood Ash Mark VI Blaster. Yeah, I'm sure it is. With its four megawatt energy discharge. Yeah, it's really Nor pathetic. Can your slow, bloated tubs compared to our flash turbo boosted warships. We have nothing to fear. Our individual skills, our superior fighting ships, and our objectively harsh two uh -huh. arms. Uh. Anything the interesting to say? Of the probes, we found one orbit of right. speak human. Yeah, 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 okay, we heard that already. Hammer, hammer, hammer. We like secret weapons. We will now give you the opportunity to give them to us. Uh, okay. We're going to charge at me, and then we're going to blow up. Sounds fine. I can keep the point defense. Ah, it's planet! My point defense try to hit the planet? That seems really effective point defense. Like, super ridiculously effective. My point defense killed him. Well, we killed some third ash and got some money. Which is kinda nice. Okay. Third ash have moved on. Um 
Okay, uh, well, if they're actually doing their thing. Uh, how about we go visit Delta Volpecule? Which is where? Um, Delta uh, VU Volpecule, yes. Okay. Uh, let's see, how do we get there? Uh, it's fairly close to Earth. Um, closest way to get there might be... Probably the Spathy. Probably the Spathy one. Um, 466-512. Okay, let's go. Sixty-six, five, twelve. Wait, what? Four, six, six, five, twelve. Uh, yep, right there. Go. Should hopefully put us close to there, and we can go see if the oh, oh, people have moved around. Was, uh, fairly close. I don't know if that was as close as it could have been, but uh, you know, well, it's close enough. It's certainly not worth going into hyper or quasi space again and uh, coming back down. That'd be that'd be silly. Why would we do that? January twenty fifth. Space, we travel. So, the game's been going on for two years now? It's kind of interesting, a little star formation there. So, the, uh, the moon about the second planet, which would be you, well hidden, a moon around the second planet. Tell me, which moon? No. Apparently... This is a system message from ship's computer translation subsystem. Incoming message, extremely unusual in composition. Translation includes many lingual anomalies. Overall accuracy of translation is unknown. Happy pieces! I am squirting nice colors. Why? The reason. Camper friends have come to Halo Playground. Well, why are you... you coming to this? Hi. Uh. Um. Only campers can go to the playground. Alliance parties are often a good idea for better parties, even for picnics. Do you want to be campers for the friendly day? Okay, um... Jumping peppers! I am squirting more nice colors. I don't want to it hear is about the best that. Way. Okay. You will be very happy campers. Do not be terrified. It is better as campers. You must going to my house to start camping. Sure. It is 371.3. We are so busy here for camping. the campers. Okay, we'll uh Busy is because oars have reason. It is secret for campers. You must go in quickly to my house. It is too bad that you cannot be there, but flying the heavy ship is okay. Perhaps next we will show you our toys. But do not look. Now you will go to my house. Okay. Uh... 
I shall go. I am so sad myself. You are not here, and then I do not think of parties. Oh well. It is so much excitement for the next time. I'm sure. Okay. You must leave now. So yeah, then we're going camping at 371. Yes. I understand very well. Okay. Um, okay, so, things have changed, uh, we are going to, 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 to three, three, seven, one point, uh, three, two, fifty, three, point seven, so just one star system down, okay, that's not too hard, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, yep. I assume the green plant is your home plant, as they always seem to be. Uh, the ores want to say hi. Okay, I didn't really mean to hit them, but we're saying hi anyway. Hello, Extremely! I hope you like to play. Sure. Some campers are not so good for games. Is it time for playing yet? Um. Uh, Who sure. are you? You are not ores. We are ores. Ores are happy people energy from the outside. Inside is good. So much good that ores will always germinate. What? Can you come together with ores for party? Uh. Yes, of course. Difficulty. Difficulty. Problems are difficult. Let's Gee. be wow, special thanks. together. Spicy games are always fun. Spicy games sound actually um. Yes, yes, we are too friendly. Extremely happy sisters should correct each other for celebration. So much enjoyment. I'm sure. Shall we come to your house so that we can be relatives? Uh... Uh... Jumping Peppers! This is Smiley Time! This is Smiley Time, apparently! You are campers after all! Okay! We will start Alliance parties for better enjoyment. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, it's like, are you gonna attack me? No. Hello! to our house. Do you feel better yet? I don't know. If you are campers, you will enjoy the change. But maybe not yet. It is best if many happy boars are coming to your house. Let's fitting the fun words for what? several pieces and then surprising things. Okay. Uh. That is funny. You think you see ores, but ores are not light reflections. Uh huh. Maybe you think ores are many bubbles too. It is such a joke. If you say ores so. Ores are not many bubbles like campers. Ores are just ores. I am ores. I am one with many fingers. My fingers reach through into heavy space, and you see ores bubbles. 
but it is really fingers. Maybe you do not even smell. That is sad. Smelling pretty colors is the best game. I don't want to smell pretty. Okay, so they're all sort of. Uh... I am the best word, Frumple. Uh -huh. Maybe you do not know. Frumple be round yet lumpy. So bad. What? The asking about Androsin is so Frumple. We are not happy. Do not asking it so much. Okay, they don't want to talk about the Andrew thing. Do not okay. crumple, or else there is so much problem. No more Anderson is better. Yeah, I suppose it is. Um... You are a silly camper. I am always oars. Yes, you are. If I was not oars, then I would not be. But of course, I am oars. Uh huh. We are from the outside. Also, the Arilu Quick Babies are from okay. outside. Okay. Okay. So yeah. It is the same, but not. Oars are from below. Arilu are from above. Oars does not like Arilu. Arilu are too much trouble. Hmm. We cannot have parties when Arilu always jumping in front. It make Oars frumble so much. These are fat words. Do you sure. want to play this some more? Uh... Yes. Okay, we're done. We don't want to talk about our loot. No, we don't want to talk about the other things, so we're good. Hello, I am only joke. It is funny enough. Do not forget to enjoy the sauce. Sure. Um, yeah. We're going to en enjoy the sauce. What? Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Um, back to Data Volpecule. Land on the happy pet playground of the... Taelo. Uh, playground, I suppose, is... You know, whatever. Yeah, we are not actually interested in talking to you guys, I'm sorry to say. We're actually interested in going here. I smell you so much. Campers are pleasant. They are. You are coming again to the playground. We can have extra fun for future parties in quick time. Yeah. Can we, um... Yes, sure, yes. yes. You say words, then I say. It is fun in between. More fun than dancing. I don't... Many gravity centers in heavy space make good party places. I'm sure they do. What? This is why we like the new town. So many campers, and then what? Uh -huh. Even the playground. Such a surprise. At this playground, the Halo are making time jokes. It is too funny for the oars. Time the Halo are in heavy space, and next what? They spread to pretty space because Denari are chasing them. Now, Denari are sleeping. So Oars can chase them. Then we can what? have a party. They are even better campers than you. Do not feeling bad. You are good enough campers, but not yet. Okay, uh, can I, um... You are asked if Oars are upset. Oars are No, I just want to go down to the planet. You are happy campers. Certainly, you are only slow-time walkers. 
It is not fun on the surface in slow time. If you want to go, that is Interesting. Okay. So something cool is happening in over the eons or something? I don't really know. Not sure. And there's treasure stuff, and there's energy thing, which is what we sort of expected. All the stuff. It's a rock. We found a rock. It's a glowy rock. It's a rock thing. <laughs> when we first noticed it, we thought it was a naturally fluorescing igneous. Upon this closer observation, we can only conclude that this object is artificial in origin, tail of design. This guy should have built things to last, the full radiometric scale and aging for 20,000 years. Regardless of how old it is, it continues to radiate energy all up and down the spectrum with a concentration of emissions in the red infrared range. Even though it weighs a ton, we will definitely um, lug this thing up to the ship. One last count before I sign off and sign. Hugin's Witherspoon has reported extremely headaches and mental disarray when they approach the tail device. None of the rest of us have any problems, so either the inside are just being babies or the tail device uh, produces some kind of uh, kind of shield that affects only people's mind. Maybe the scientists back at the starbase will tell us more. Well, um, I suppose they want us to visit starbase. Well, thanks, Ors. That was nice. Um, the Micon are moving around. The Rash are hopefully giggling some core off for us. Which is actually really nice if it, uh, is happening. Uh, we're going to head back to, uh... And we're, we're basically full on minerals, and, uh, we're a little low on fuel. Well, I mean, we're at half fuel tanks, I suppose. Um... Let us... Let's, let's hit the device. Quasi. Portal. It's star map. And we want to go back to Earth is uh, the one that says to... Uh, near Vega, no. Near Labor, no. Near Craters, no. Certainly not. Persei, Gruis, no. Lensis, no. Tranguli. Mince Arcturus, Draconis, yes, 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 Cassiopeia, no. We're just gonna hit every single one that's the wrong one first, and then hit the last one correctly. Because, you know, that makes sense. Conkos are moving, uh, and we're heading back to Earth. Offloading our cargo, refueling, and probably gonna end the episode before I set off again. <laughs> Boop -a doop. What's up? Ah, Captain, I'm glad yeah, you're me back. Too. Before we proceed, I wanted you to know we have been invaded by an alien race calling themselves the Oars. Though so far, the invasion is a friendly one. The fish-like creatures have been stomping around the base in their robotic walking exoskeletons, cool. which look like combat vac suits, if you ask me. Based on the summary reports I've seen on their nemesis ship design, I have but a single comment. I like it. I'd say we have quite a nasty little surprise in store for the Urquan the next time you tangle with them. Uh, middle stuff load. Just, you know, some, just some stuff. More fuel for the fire, eh, Captain? That last load should keep it blazing. Uh, the I've got a lot of stuff. Follows. What do I have? Subject, sun device. Data, the unit contains a power generator whose output magnitude is simply mind-croggling. When activated, the device radiates energy equivalent to less than one one-hundredth of one percent of our sun. However, when placed close to a planet, perhaps in orbit, its output would rival Sol's. Hmm. Summary, another precursor tool, the energy output of which can replace or augment a sun's radiance. The next entry in the analysis is okay. subject to ALO device. Data, 
whoever the Te'elo were, they were clever, way past us, probably even beyond the Chen Jesu. As far as I can tell, with all our equipment, this thing is a rock. Just a rock. Nothing but a rock. However, if you feed a current into it, anywhere along its surface, everyone on board this starbase who has Esper potential gets a bad headache. Well, we checked a bit more into that, and when the Te'elo thing is active, all evidence of Psycon interaction is flatlined. Nothing gets through. Summary. If you keep this Te'elo rock device thing on board your vessel, I'll bet you're immune to any form of psychic attack. Or at least, mostly immune. That's the end of our scientist report. Cool. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, Certain just out of curiosity. Um, Can you be... Any sort of thoughts on what... Hmm, let's see. You need to build up and balance the strength of your flagship. What do you mean? My flagship's great. You need great. more crew, at least 50, to make oh, productive sure, voyages fine. into space. Use the resource units you have accumulated to improve your flagship. Oh, bleh. Bleh. What else can I... Fine. Return. We need crew. Well, fine. We'll go get crew. Uh... Eat. <laughs> There, crew. Um, and apparently we can also build, like, uh, Ors ships? Ors Nemesis. Fancy. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, crew up, a uh, Nemesis. That feels good. And then, Spaffy. Okay, uh, so four space left, that's good. Let's uh, head back here, fuel up, and uh, we're going to wrap up this video, I suppose. Um, mostly because I need to figure out where I'm going next, so... Hmm. Uh, so... Yes, Captain? Certainly. I want you to know you? if you how much you like my flagship now. Hmm. Let's see. Your flagship is in pretty good yes, shape. Thank you. you have established several successful alliances with alien yes, races. Yes, I have. Thank you. You've assembled a good-sized fleet of combat ships. I certainly have. My guess is you need to upgrade your flagship to make it more than a match for any enemy ship you might encounter. You need even more crew, perhaps as many as 200, to face the challenges ahead. You need at least one lander. I have plenty of landers. I'd like two. What else? Could All right, well, hey, he has Five more interesting is. things. So, farewell, that's cool. Captain. Uh, again, we're going to go ahead and save this game and uh, end this episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.